Have your slide seals seen better days, or have you even checked out your slide seals lately? Over time, they crack and they wear out. I'm going to show you how to change those out on this episode of Roaming with Rosie. Hey Roamers, Jamie back at you again with another RV tip. Um, this is for maintenance of your slides. This is an 06 motorhome and this rubber seal over time gets hard and brittle. So what, are we gonna, what we are gonna be doing today is we're gonna be replacing that. Um, it's pretty, it's not a hard job to do. It's just long, tedious kind of kind of work, but so the first steps in handling this is I've laid down some tarps underneath it uh, because when you go in to remove it, this stuff breaks up into pieces and it gets all over the place. How this kind of works, and it's not real hard, it's just like I said, a long, tedious thing. You just kind of put, this is a, a half inch, or a, I think it's a half inch, no, it's a three quarter um, chisel, and I stick it under here and I get it started and then I pull up on it as I'm pulling the chisel, pushing the chisel underneath it. So you're kind of pulling and pushing at the same time. Just like this. And basically what you're doing is you're cutting that adhesive that was on the back of it. And as you can see, if you look down on the ground here, uh, you can see how it just breaks up into pieces. Is it easy or are you using a lot of strength? Um, I'm not using a lot of strength, but I am, you know, having to push with the chisel. But when you're pulling and, and pushing with the chisel, it's not too bad. And actually what you're doing, as you can see, there's still this black and it's still sticky. Um, once I have all this removed, I'm going to show you what I do to get that, get rid of that. Um, but right now, all I have to do is just keep going with this until I get all of this removed. Um, and I got to do it all the way around the entire slide. All right, now, now the next thing I need to do is I need to get on top of the slide up there. And I'm going to actually be laying on top of it, removing the old seal. Um, I'm going to use my telescope, telescoping ladder to get to the top up there. Um, one thing I've noticed though, using this over time, that every time I put it on the gel coat, it leaves marks. I use it for like cleaning my windshield and stuff like that. And it leaves marks on the gel coat that I have to kind of buff out. So what I've done is I've taken a towel, a little face towel, and I put it over the top and then just took some tape, blue painter's tape and wrapped it around it. That way it's not going to leave any marks and then when I'm done I just pull it off and we're good to go. So now I'm just going to get it opened up to the right height. I got this ladder off of Amazon. Um, uh, I'll put a link in the description of the video down below. Uh, if you use our link, you uh, it helps us offset the cost of running the channel. It doesn't cost you any more, but we do, do get a small commission for any purchases you make. So now what I need to do is I need to remove all the seal that's on the top of the slide uh, from this side all the way to the other. Um, and I have this slide topper material. And what I did was I took the roller part and I rolled it out as far as it would go and then I pinned it with this pin right here so that way it won't retract on me. The other thing I have here is I have this bucket and what that bucket does it keeps the uh, slide topper material up because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be under this laying on top of the slide and I'm going to be removing all that seal.
hopefully by watching this you can decide if you want to do this job or not. Um, at this point he has to climb under that slide cover. Now if you don't have slide covers that's a whole nother deal. But um, replacing all of these seals is a big project. It would probably cost quite a bit to have it done. Um, so we're trying to save money where we can and Jamie felt pretty confident that this wasn't something that he wouldn't be able to do. So you also have to think about that. Do you have the skills to do it? Because otherwise you could end up wasting a lot of money that way if you have to end up having it redone. This is what's left to him right now. <laughs> Need to go a little tiny bit to the left. Oh, you got it. A little more to the left. And then you're going to have to do it again when you put the new seal on. Do it again. Climb under there. You have to do it again to get all the rest of the residue off still too, right? So I was sharing that maybe by, that by watching this, they can decide if it's a job they want to take on or pay somebody to do. You know, like I said, it's not its not a real uh, difficult job as far as how to do it. It's just, it's a dirty job and it's a... If you're over 50, it's a physical job. <laughs> it's a physical job because you're on top of the slide. Now, Let I could Let me see your arm underneath. Look at that. I could have went and undid the slide um, and for some reason <laughs> I went on the website uh, for the the uh, the Colorado uh, slide toppers and the model that we have they sent me documentation on how to um, lock lock it off so the springs don't just roll on you if you were to undo the, the slide toppers. Um, and for some reason, when I looked at the diagram that they showed me, mine are not set up that way. So um, I didn't want to undo my slide toppers and have the spring roll. Not, there's enough material, uh, excess material on the slide toppers that I can roll it out and I'm able to crawl up on there without having to detach it. So like I said, all I did was pin it here, um, but pinning it doesn't make it so I can slide that out. So. Um, I realized that I was able to fit under there, so I just kind of did it that way. That way I'm alleviating having to deal with making sure that I got that all correct. Now that we have that all the old seal removed, um, we still have this to contend with. Um, it doesn't matter if you use a chisel or a razor blade or whatever you use, you still get this left over. And there's a couple ways to remove that. Um, you can do it with a heat gun or an air dry, uh, hair dryer if you have it on hot and high. The heat will make it so the adhesive will let go and it kind of gums up but that takes a long time uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray goo gone on here and then use my chisel again and the goo gone but what goo gone does basically takes the adhesive and, and breaks it up and makes it loosen up and when you go over it with the chisel it kind of lets go one other thing i do uh, because i wear glasses and if you didn't wear glasses you still want to wear these um when I'm, i notice when i'm spraying the the goo gone it uh Kind of, I got speckles on my glasses. So what I did was, I got these these goggles. I had these. Are they goo gun goggles? No, they're just regular goggles. But I wear these over my glasses because I don't want that. I don't know what it'll do to my lenses on my glasses. So I, I wear these over top. The googly glasses. Now you look like a minion. 
or what was his name, Doug? Doug. Multiplicity. Oh, from multipli multiplicity. Mm -hmm. I like pizza. Yeah. As you can see, as I'm scraping it with the chisel, it's just kind of breaking it up and taking that off of there. The reason I'm taking that off of there is because if I was to take the old, the, the new seal and put it on there, it may not stick real well. So um, I want to go down and get this as clean as possible so I get the best adhesion when I tape, put the new, uh, the new seal on there. And when you get up here, you can tell, you can hit a point where uh, it doesn't seem to be coming off very easy. That's because you've reached the point where you haven't applied any Goo Gone on there. The Goo Gone really does break it up. Now that I've uh, used the Goo Gone to get the rest of that uh, tape adhesive off of there, um, now I got to create a, a surface where we can stick something to because if I leave it with just the goo gun in there there's prob probably a possibility that we won't get good uh, adhesion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Sprayway uh, glass cleaner. I'm going to spray it where um, I put the goo gun and then I'm going to wipe it down. I'm going to let it sit for until tomorrow. So I'm going to let it dry overnight um and let all that stuff cure so that i know that when i come back tomorrow and i put my seal on there it's going to stick really good so, so this is the new seal um, i ordered it off amazon you can get it in white or black um, and like i said it comes with uh, the adhesive is already put on the back side of it so all we got to do is pull this uh, red tape off of there and then we'll be able to stick it down where i'm going to start is right here on this edge and work my way back um one thing i don't have fingernails really long enough to get this stuff to come loose so i use a utility knife and i just pry it back and then pull it you don't want to pull it all off because then you're going to have a mess on your hands because this stuff once you stick it down that's it so what i do is i put it where i want it to be so i got it right there pretty much in line where the old one was and then I stick it down like so and then I gradually pull the red tape back and just kind of work myself along just like so pushing it down just like that and then when you get to the corner this stuff uh, will bend so you don't want to cut the corner you just want to bend it so let me show you how to do that. So I have enough pulled back. So what I what I do is I line up where I want it to be over here, but then I also leave enough so that I know it's gonna be able to stick down like so. And then I just push it down and now I have it on this part. And I'll do the same thing, just work my way all the way up and then all the way back until I get to the other side. done you want to make sure before you close your slide that you take that pin out because that's going to mess it up if you go to try to close your slide up so you just want to make sure and pull that and that should be it hey roamers i hope this video was helpful if it was i'd really appreciate it if you'd share it with your friends and family and if you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscribe button and ring the bell that way you'll be notified each time we upload a new video 
and make sure to leave a comment. That way you could be part of the conversation. Until next time, we'll see ya. Hey, Roamers, do you shop on Amazon? You can support Roaming with Rosie simply by starting your shopping from our Amazon storefront. You don't pay anything more for your purchases, and Amazon pays us a small commission. Just look for this link in the description of this video, as well as other links for equipment we use and approve of.